Welcome to Hitman Boxing, and I'm back with some more news. I wanted to talk about this Chris Algieri Errol Spence fight that's coming up on April 16th at the Barclays Center. Um, we all know that this is a, a big step up for Errol Spence. Well, not really big step up, but it is a step up to his previous 19 opponents that he pretty much demolished. I mean, he is 19 and 0 with 16 knockouts. Uh, Chris Algieri is a nice little step up for him. Uh, he's 21 and 2 with eight knockouts. His only two losses are to Manny Pacquiao and Amir Khan. Uh, Amir Khan, he, he lost recently to. And in the Manny Pacquiao fight, he really got dominated. Uh, he does have a pretty solid win against uh, Provodnikov. But that was kind of a shaky fight in my opinion. But in any event, he is fighting Errol Spence, the fucking prodigy of the welterweight division. Uh, they recently had their presser earlier this week. Um, both of them had some choice worries for each other. Uh, Chris Algieri was kind of riding Errol Spence off a little bit. You know, he pretty much said that he's he's there. He's not there to lay down for Errol Spence. Uh, he's going to make this a good fight. Um, Errol Spence, um, you know, he's very respectful. Uh, he did have the following to say about Chris Algieri, though. Um, I don't think he's an enormous step up in class because every time he stepped up, he lost to Amir Khan and Manny Pacquiao. And the only notable win on his record is Provodnikov. He's not a huge step up. I don't see him like Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, and Sean Porter in that class, but he is a step up. And, you know, I do agree with him. Um, I mean, Algeria is a step up, but he's not that much, of, not that big of a step up when you're comparing him to the likes of Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia. But Chris Algeri is going to bring something to um, Spence that he hasn't seen before. Uh, Chris Algeri is a good boxer. Um, he's going to move around a lot. Uh, Errol Spence doesn't have th that much speed. I mean, he's not too quick, but he does have a lot of power, uh, pretty decent boxing ability. Um, I don't see Chris Algieri being able to, to box and, and stay on the outside for too long, you know, for 12 rounds. But um, at some point during the fight, I think, you know, Spence is definitely going to catch him. He's going to hurt him, and most likely he is going to stop him during this fight. Um, how, how, um, how he wins this fight will really tell us, you know, what's the next step for him. Um, He's really going to have to show out in this fight. Errol Spence is going to have to make an example of Chris Algieri. Um, hopefully, hopefully uh, Chris Algieri, he comes to fight. Um, he really shouldn't try to walk Errol Spence down like he tried to Amir Khan. That shit ain't going to work. Um, box and stay on the outside. That's the best advice that motherfucker can have against Errol Spence. Now, after this fight, after Errol Spence wins, we all know he's going to win the fucking fight. Whether it's dominating fashion or not, he's going to win the fucking fight. So, after this fight, is he going to fight Kell Brook? Is Kell Brook going to fight him? I know he's going to be his mandatory. Uh, Kell Brook does have to fight uh, Bizer, um, who he will beat most likely. Uh, and after that, I mean, Errol Spence is going to be his mandatory. I know Kell Brook's been looking for a big fight, but that motherfucker also loves to fight his mandatory, so... Honestly, I don't see him taking that fight against Errol Spence. It's too fucking risky. But, I mean, he's got more experience. But at the end of the day, Errol Spence is someone who's feared in the welterweight division. And he is coming for these motherfuckers, whether they like it or not. So, you know, Kell Brook, Errol Spence, I'd love to see that fucking fight. Um, like I said, Kell Brook said he was looking for a big fight this summer. You know, he's looking for names like Danny Garcia, the, the winner of Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, which most likely won't happen. But, um, yeah, I'd like to see Errol Spence fight a Kell Brook after this. You know, just, just keep taking these step-up fights. And, again, he, he's here. He's a force to be a reckoned with. You know what I mean? So um, that's really all I got today. Again, Errol Spence versus Chris Algieri um, on April 16th. Uh, looking forward to that. Um, who you guys got winning? I mean, it's a no-brainer, honestly. Thanks for listening, guys. Subscribe.